Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, this is Aki. So usually I talk about Malaysian people, culture and beautiful places in Malaysia, but today I'm gonna talk a little bit about myself. Like what I was doing back in Japan before coming to Malaysia, how I came here and what I'm gonna do for the next few years. Yeah, let's get right to it. So I guess my story began when I was back in high school. I met this awesome English teacher who spoke amazing English even though he's a pure Japanese. He always talked about his experiences abroad, like beautiful places he saw outside of Japan, all the troubles he went through in foreign countries, how he made friends with people of different culture. He gave those stories all in English. And 17 years old myself was like, wow, English is so cool. I want to be a good English speaker like him. So that's when I started learning English by myself. I know I'm a very simple person. And after five years of studying at university, I became an English teacher in local high school. I was 23 years old and he, the teacher, was always my role model when I lectured my students. But I realized at some point that I don't have much experience to tell. I don't have any fascinating stories like he gave me. Teaching English itself was enjoyable, but school is not just a place to teach subject, but also a place to teach important lessons and experiences in life so that the students can find their own like dream and way to go in their life. And I thought to myself, who the hell am I to teach those important life lessons? I'm still young. I'm clearly not in a place to teach somebody else. I need to experience more. And more importantly, I wanted to experience more. I wanted to see the bigger world. I wanted to expose myself to new culture. I wanted to see the beautiful things that my teacher was talking about rather than being stuck in a classroom all day. So after one year of teaching at a high school, I decided to quit it and move to Malaysia. Why Malaysia, you might wonder. It's very simple. When I was a teacher, I had an opportunity to go to Thailand with my friend, which was my first trip to Southeast Asian country. That actually blew my mind. Even though it is just a few hours away from Japan, the atmosphere of Thailand, Southeast Asia was so much different from Japan. Everybody was so frank and friendly that I felt like I could have made friends with anybody. I really liked it. Ever since then, I had always wanted to live in a Southeast Asian country. Plus, I wanted to live in a country where I can expose myself to English environment. So that's how I decided to live in Malaysia. Now it's been already one year and four months since I came over here. Am I happy now? Sure I am. I got to see a lot of beautiful places, new people, and different cultures. I got to broaden my horizon like I wanted. And I felt like I needed to share those experiences with people outside of Malaysia. And what did I do? I literally spent all of my money on traveling all over Malaysia and buying better cameras and lenses to capture the beautiful life in Malaysia as real as possible. Some people call me crazy for using that much money on gadgets, but those are the monies that I would have spent on buying expensive cars and fancy clothes and drinking every weekend if I were in Japan. So I would say I'm using my money rather wisely. And through the courses of traveling, filming, editing, and sharing in Malaysia, I realized I love filming more than anything. If you have been my subscriber for a long time, you might have noticed that these days I post more of travel videos and cinematic films, and I feel like filming could be the thing that I'm gonna dedicate my whole life to. That's how crazy I am about filmmaking right now. So that way, I am very thankful to Malaysia for giving me the chance, opportunity, and environment for me to film. There are still so many beautiful things and places that I need to film and share in Malaysia. So at this point, I don't think I'm going back to Japan for at least next couple of years. So I guess that explains how I ended up in Malaysia. And some people ask me, don't you miss Japan? Of course I miss Japan, of course. Especially my friends and my family. Being apart from people you love and feel comfortable with is very difficult and makes you lonely sometimes. But at the same time, it will give you time to think what you really want to do with your life and give you chances to try whole new things and make your life much more challenging, exciting, and meaningful. 
So I guess this is all I wanted to say today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, be sure to click the like button and share it with your friends. And I'll see you guys very soon in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye bye.